What is Jesus' marching orders to you? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. There is this funny story of the Royal Army recruit standing at attention on the drill field. The drill instructor yells, Forward march! And the entire ranks begin to move, all except this one raw recruit. He's still standing there at attention. So the drill instructor strolls over to him and yells in his right ear, Is this thing working? Sir, yes, sir, the recruit yells. Then the drill instructor walks around to the other ear and yells, Is this thing working? Sir, yes, sir, the soldier says. Then why didn't you march when I gave the order? Sir, I didn't hear you call my name. In today's Gospel reading, Mark gives us an account of Jesus' ascension. Before ascending to heaven, Jesus gives his final instructions to his apostles to go into the whole world and proclaim the Gospel to every creature. As Christians, we are all commissioned to proclaim, not just by preaching, but through our witnessing the Gospel of love, hope, and peace. In this time and age, we may have witnessed digital technology ushering a shift in behavior and norms. The message of the gospel has the potential to be delivered with a blinding speed of light, but there is much work to do because the forces of darkness can certainly overwhelm and overcome good intentions. For example, saying grace before meals can sometimes be forgotten, but a photo of the food being partaken is the first thing posted in Instagram. Proclaiming takes on a new meaning while love and peace take a backseat as bashing, bullying, and hate for something people passionately adhere to flood social media. But all is not lost because social media can also be a messenger of hope. This video has been trending. Thank you to the creator, Aegon Hare, for this beautiful video. Right now, as you watch this video, people in the Philippines have been putting up food stalls. Not one, not two, but nearly a 1500 all over the country. And this is not a shop. The food you see here is free for everyone. This is the story of Community Pantries, an initiative that every country needs to know about. Because you see, in the world full of food waste and financial struggle, this is inspiring. They have a bike community pantry to distribute food to many areas. They have a pantry for delivery drivers. They even have a palm tree for stray dogs and cats. But why did they decide to do this in times of struggle? After all, this this is not a rich nation. Don't many people there face life difficulties? Well, they do. But it all started from one goal of this one person. One day, a selfless woman wanted to help those who were struggling in lockdown. She set up one pantry which was posted on social media and within 24 hours it went viral. Before she knew it, more and more people were doing the same thing. It gave us hope despite our situation. Some people are saying thank you because it encouraged us to help too. It is unbelievable how many people followed what this one woman started. A group of K-pop fans set up their own pantry. This family of farmers donated their harvest. Fishermen willingly gave their catch. Many vendors donated fruits and vegetables they were supposed to sell. Everyone came together and most importantly, no one abused the system. Just look at this driver who got some food and later came back to give his own contribution. This is what the spirit of community is all about and I hope many more countries can be inspired by this. The Philippines have been under a lockdown for over a year now. They have over a million COVID cases. People are losing jobs. Many were losing faith. But all it took was one kind soul to spark hope again and again and again. From one person to one country. And now this one country is becoming a whole world. 
because they have already inspired one country to have their own community pantry. With so many fights and disagreements, I see too many people around us lose faith in humanity. But it's not because humans are bad, it's because we focus too much attention on the bad things. But we need to believe that good and kind people still exist everywhere around the world. And this is why I hope we can come together and share this video to inspire more people, more countries to start community pantries. Kindness like this deserves to go viral and may it be a reminder to all of us that small acts done by many people have the power to change lives and restore our faith in genuine human kindness. Community pantries have mushroomed not just in the Philippines, but elsewhere, where the community spirit of the first Christians is much evident. Vlogs have come out that inspire, that teach family values, Christian virtues, and propagate love and faith. Let us heed the call of Pope Francis in his Evangelii Gaudium to embark on a new chapter of evangelism. He said, all baptized, whatever their position in the church or their level of instruction in the faith, are agents of evangelization, and it would be insufficient to envisage a plan of evangelization to be carried out by professionals, while the rest of the faithful would simply be passive recipients. Anyone who has truly experienced God's saving love does not need much time or lengthy training to go out and proclaim that love. Indeed. How wonderful is the coming of messengers who bring good news. Let us not be like that soldier who waits for his name to be called out. Jesus gave this marching order to everyone, to all of us. Let us march to the cadence and drumbeat of his message to proclaim the good news to all. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, let your Holy Spirit embolden me to do my part in your holy plan. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.